Hey guys, welcome all. Welcome to Ministry of Automation. You can visit our website ministryofautomation.com for latest videos and the techniques around automation things which you can do it on your system. Okay. Myself Saurabh, I'm basically an automation engineer. I love to automate things uh, wherever we are spending more time manually. I try to automate it with as easy as steps we can. Okay. So today we're going to see how to protect our files on Mac. So this video is specifically only for the Mac users where you want to protect your folders you want to apply a password for it you know most of the time when you want to send someone a zip folder uh, over email and if there are other people's as well you do not want everyone to look into your zip file you know if you have any confidential documents like pay slips some financial documents and in such cases you would like to apply a password you would like to protect your files you know while uh, putting some password on it so how we can do that we can see that today how we can uh, protect our zip folders or zip files with uh, specific encrypted password and then uh, we'll also see how we can do it for an individual file okay so there are some steps which you need to follow uh, it's pretty easy i just need to follow all these steps so first of all open your terminal on your mac so just go to a search and type terminal so the terminal will come and then uh, i'm going to paste uh some commands for you on the description of this video so make sure you copy that so that it will make your life easy so first thing you should be doing is whatever folder or whatever file you want to password protect move that on the desktop so why i'm saying this is because uh whatever command i'm gonna give you in the description of this video if you copy paste that and if your file or folder is on the desktop it will work and it will save your time okay so just first step move whatever folder you want to password protect or you want to zip it just move it first on the desktop and then copy the command from the description of this video and use it okay so let's see how to do that so this is the test folder if you see right now i have moved one of the folder on my desktop this is what you're gonna do it whatever the name may be so just move your folder so inside this folder i have one a normal test file nothing much but i just want to protect this or i want to apply a password on this folder and then so this is a particular description uh, command which you will be getting in the description of this video just copy it and you need to replace your folder name here so if your folder name is abc or anything else just make sure while using before using the command you replace your folder name over here and over here okay so this command is basically say zip er a destination of the folder after you zip and apply a password on it and then the source folder which you want to actually you know zip it or you the actual source file on which you want to apply and password so just copy this completely make sure you replace uh, uh, rename the you know uh, folder or a file and just copy this and then go to a terminal so this something like this you will get it on terminal right click paste and then just enter the moment you enter you will see that it asks for to enter a password so just type any password you wish so i'm typing test test -E enter it will ask one more time verify password again the same password and then enter and now done now if you go back to your desktop you know here you will see test folder dot zip it has zipped your folder and it also applied a password on it so let's go ahead and test so generally if you do not have a password what we do is the moment you do a double click on it it gives you all the files inside it right so but now if i double click it you know now it's asking me a password you can see that it's asking me actually a password now if i give test -E the password which i used to actually create this now if you see it has open uh, it has unprotect it has actually you know open the file and this is what i have now for me basically you will get a user folder double click on it your name and then text and this is actually your folder and whatever file inside it so this is how basically we can protect our folder using a password so make sure that you know do you don't get confused the moment you get a user folder because inside a user folder they're basically uh, it th this is how you know it applies a password uh, and uh, when you open it this is how it unzip and uh, show you the actual thing okay so 
and uh, thanks for watching this video and if you guys feel that it actually helped you so make sure you like comment and subscribe if it doesn't work for you you can dislike the video i don't mind just make sure that you give me a comment so that i can improve or you know replace a video with a new content thanks